Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of our RimWorld 1.0 playthrough with the Cold Foresters. We are creeping towards the end of winter here, still in the midst of a toxic fallout, which has lasted the entirety of the last episode, which was about six days or so. And, uh, I don't know, maybe a day beyond that, something around there. So I expect it to lift relatively soon, although... I mean, these can last supposedly... Um... Oh, it tells you how long it's lasted. 6.2 days. Okay, so basically the entire last episode and, and barely more than that. Um, it says it could last... Hold on. Let, let's look at this message here. It can't be that long ago. All right. Death Mal... It was after Mal died. To I, I saw it. And I scrolled past it. Why can't I see it? Here we go. Toxic Fallout. Anywhere between a few days to over a season. Okay. Hopefully not much more over a season. Uh, but even if it lasts as long as it as long as possible, which I'm guessing is 15 to 20 days, um, that should still not impact our growing season. I don't I don't believe so. Feeling okay there. And we got this roof up, so Big Red can mine safely. And yeah, luckily I guess that steel was in range too. I'm kind of surprised it was. Oh no, that's the roof, not our zone. Our toxic zone includes that. Okay, plenty of space. We had some guys in the moderate range last episode, mostly because I had them going out to repair the walls from the attack. Uh, you're still in moderate range. NG was also moderate. You're still there too. What are you doing right now? Clearing snow. Yeah, that'll probably add to your outdoor time. And who else? Oh, Matthew, what are you doing? Oh, you're here researching. Yeah, I had this on thinking you would do other things, but you know what? We don't need to do this during a toxic fallout. That's that's kind of silly. So let's go ahead and remove that chair. Just the workplace. Yeah, I want you to be able to get access to it to repair it. Wherever you need to go is fine, but no more being there. Matthew will redraft and you can... No, 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 no. Um... Okay, I gotta expand this a little bit more. I cleared that, right? Yeah, it's cleared. Um, even here, and here, just nowhere near this thing. Even the front. You should be able to repair it from the other sides if you need to, or just ignore it. I don't care if it gets repaired. That guy just walked. Now Ng's doing it. Okay, Ng, toxic. Not allowed. So I wonder if. Th okay, so this item itself is in the allowed area so that means they can interact with it regardless of their sitting position is my guess here which is kind of annoying because that means we cannot fix it or even any of these say one of these um conduits breaks oh i guess there's no conduit yeah i mean one of these conduits breaks we might not be able to fix that let's try this though okay so the whole machine is now out of out of range. That must be what those guys share in common. They all sit on this for a while. Now Matthew is in some trouble here. Uh, serious. It brings your consciousness down. Yeah, so you can die. Like if 25% uh, is a pretty big hit to your consciousness. Luckily he has no other problems with it. But, uh, you know, mix that with some booze, some blood loss. Uh, you, you could end up dying from that. Food poisoning, even. So you do have to watch out and make sure your consciousness stays above 0%. Cougar here, resting. All of our animals have really taken some, some hits. I really wish we could add prosthetics for animals, and I might get that mod for next playthrough. Because that seems reasonable to me, that you'd have at least, like, a peg leg for an animal. I don't need them to have bionics, necessarily. Although that does sound potentially fun. Um... But a peg leg, at least. NG coming in here to repair this. Great. That is a lot of heater for one room. I wonder if it's worth venting. No, that, that would just make this room too cold. Boil. I haven't checked any of our animal buildup, actually. I, they're mostly exclusively indoors, so they're going to be outdoors just to travel between indoor locations. But that doesn't mean they can't be spending a lot of time out there and hurting themselves. The problem is that there's no easy way to cycle through animals, so I'm going to need 
Also, some sort of medical tab uh, mod, too. I forget which one I liked, but uh, something where you can really easily see all of your health conditions at a glance. Because I have no idea which one of these animals might be in danger. Um, but I will look at some of our favorites, like Al. Yeah, initial, no problem. PB&J, nothing. Estelle. Okay, so Estelle hasn't moved in a while. Which makes me think that maybe she actually is stuck here now. Missing three out of four legs, or paws, really. She's got stumps. But completely immobile. You know what, I'm gonna very briefly allow this so we can put that statue over there. Let's see how long that takes. Yeah, a lot of people are kind of looking for things to do. Okay. Let's clear that, and let's move this heater. Although it didn't seem like it made that much of a difference. Um, although cold is cold. I'm, I'm surprised the center room is... Well, I guess I'm not surprised it's lower than the outside rooms. I should have kind of done a check to see what our lowest temperature was before, and to see if this middle room is now higher than that lowest temperature. I have a feeling it might be, but I don't, I don't know. It's kind of it's mostly a guess. Matthew working faster. That's impressive given our situation. You know, cooped up inside, and you decide to work faster. You're, you're motivated. That's right. We installed this TV here recently. Cow herd, are you watching TV? I guess you don't have any recreation needs. You're sleeping in a chair. <laughs> We are relatively low, low on animal beds. I wonder if I could pop a few around here just to kind of give all of our animals a place to sleep. I would kind of like some closer to the hospital. Maybe even one on either side of this door is good. I mean, if this is kind of like the party hangout room. You'd think you'd want an animal hanging around. That's kind of a helps things out, I think. We have a ton of cloth now again. Too much. Let's go with just the old bear skin. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we're not using it for anything else. Let's see. A couple bear skin animal beds would be good. One on either side. Just so they can look at the beer and know they're not supposed to touch it. Yeah. I guess, that looks okay, I guess. Um the quality here good and good this is a barn evidently now hold on I that doesn't remove their so big red was in there does that mean you get the impressive bedroom yeah we have a problem here you're no longer getting the extremely impressive rec room bonus there's no extremely impressive barn bonus and is that... That's not just because of the animal beds, is it? Let's say I uninstalled all of these. So this is a rec room. Why? This is a separate room? This is now a rec room, too. There must be some sort of limit on the number of animal beds. So I'll keep that at one. And I'll reinstall you guys. Hey, one of you guys can sleep with a tinny. That'll be good. And we'll throw another... I mean, the thing is, I, I put them here because I like them being close to the hospital. And I think in a future playthrough, I will build maybe an animal barn near the hospital for easy access. That way all the animals are sleeping there, and that's where they're going to get all their medical care as well. Because we've almost lost animals just because they had to get carried too far, and we had to interrupt it and micromanage it and kind of take over. And so it'd be nice to kind of just have a dedicated spot that's, that's near the medicine. But I don't really see a good spot, so we're going to put this bed somewhere else. And maybe we'll kind of uh, balance out that bed there. I mean, Estelle's got her spot. That we know. <laughs> Wait, your name is Injury, huh? So we had some puppies recently. What do we got here? Injury and Ari. We'll start your training... If for no other reason then I'm pretty that I'm then I think you're you sell for more if you if you have more training. 
So we'll do that for at least that reason. Uh, or we might just give you away. And we'll, we'll, you'll, your value will be worth more in that sense too. Okay, Freckles has crash landed nearby. Um, oh, she's on this map. Okay, so I'm not. I'm usually not sure if they're uh, on this map or nearby. So you've got hypothermia, sh shivering, dead eight hours. You are a cannibal and a psychopath. You can't do dumb labor. Great shot. What would you do otherwise if you can't do dumb labor? Hmm. I don't know what you'd do otherwise. I mean, I, I think these are handy traits to have. But we will rescue you. Um, who's got almost no... Okay, great. Angie's down to minor. She was up to moderate. What about you, Big Red? You're down to moderate and... Well, you're still at moderate. But Matthew is down from serious to moderate. Anyway, let's get someone who's... Yeah, lines, you've got nothing. Go rescue uh, Freckles here. So for the rescue command, you can leave the toxic buildup area or your assigned area. That's cool, I guess. I mean, it's an emergency, I suppose. Whereas hauling beer maybe isn't considered an emergency by the game. Interesting path. It makes me think my paths aren't very good if they're walking over guns and, and sandbags as the fastest way. And I thought we had enough bricks to get this done, but we're not even really close. And we did chop all that marble up, too. Let's see if there's some nearby I can queue up to haul. Oh, wait, Toxic Follow's gone, right? When did that happen? I didn't even notice. But anyway... We're free to go back outside. Everyone out. Except for, of course, Serrano and Emmy, who stay in the compound for safety. <laughs> you guys go to sleep, and then an hour later, wake up to work. <laughs> That'll be the new plan. No, we'll put you back to sleep. Um, did not get all of you. Animals. Um, snake Pit stays there. We got our haulers and our grazers. Haul, 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 haul. Um, graze for now until you're trained. Uh, Estelle, yeah, just go ahead and stay indoors. <laughs> right, do whatever you want, Estelle, if you can. I mean, if you get, you know, if you magically get some sort of superpower strength at, at some point, um, go ahead and walk anywhere. Now, you are bonded with someone. Serrano bond. Now, you used to not be heartbroken if they didn't have the skill, but that's not the case anymore. You know, we should just buy an animal mech trainer serum if we see one just to reduce this penalty. Um, I think Serrano probably gets a small penalty for that. We can check. Um, but anyway, you you do not haul, so go ahead and... Well, you don't haul, but I, I don't care where you go. Go out and hunt if you want to. That's fine. These alpacas that can't take care of themselves, I want inside. Uh, same with the cows, and then PB&J and Thrombo can haul. Okay, good. And hopefully we don't need to change this really much at all. Alright, Ghostface, you're healthy. Alcatraz, you're healthy. Oh no, you're blind, right? That's right, we retired you. Okay. We haven't been using our animals in combat that much. Now, we we should be fine on components. Okay, and here comes Pacheco Great. A lynx is hunting lady. Who is where? Right outside. Okay, she's going inside. This lynx will probably hit a trap now that it's hostile. It is still small though. So Burton, why don't you stand up here and get ready to fight? Lines, let's have you take a shot. Not at the mine. <laughs> okay. Burton, go melee to death. Lines, you can go back to work. Oops. Got a warg out here who fought something and took some damage. You'll be dead in 10 hours. I am going to put a, a hunt job on you. Okay, whoops. Always hit T instead of R for some reason. Let's get these stones in. They're nearby. Actually, no, cancel that. 
Uh, Matthew's coming out to hunt. Okay. The warg was heavily weakened, so I wasn't too worried about that threat. I want to get... This is... Is this all... No, it's limestone. I want to get some marble in so we can finish those floors because I don't want to look at this uh, these squares anymore. Also limestone, it looks like. Yeah. Here's a little bit of marble. There's another piece, right? This is various. Yeah. It's all marble. Um, hmm. Maybe because they were in different states. Some were already tagged for hauling, some weren't. So it says various. I don't know. Seems odd. I feel like we need just a couple more pieces to get it done. Ooh, muffalo. Um, yeah, go ahead and hunt. Yeah, fridge is looking, you know, about halfway full. Maybe a little bit less. Still a lot of insect meat in there, so it's not as full as it looks. And we are out of kibble. We do grow hay, but obviously not a ton. Yeah, I mean, this this growing room is nice, but it's it's pretty light for a colony our size. But we make up for it by just um, getting all hands on deck with massive plots during our limited growing season. And it seems to work okay, although some of our animals are going to have a bit of a hard time eating here. I mean, with snow on the ground, there's very little grass for them to grow graze on. We've got nothing in their two food closets here. I wonder if we want to expand this or tweak this. We've been growing Devil Strand forever. I know this isn't a huge patch. Oh, we do have some in here. Okay, so 247 Devil Strand. Make Parka. Uh, I'm going to change this to... The good stuff. So you use Devil Strand or Hyper Weave. Okay, so until you have two. These are going to be for our colonists. Copy, paste. So I want Devil Strand and Hyper Weave to be the priority that you make. Um, if we don't have those, next highest priority is like the Alpaca Wool, the Mega Sloth Wool, Muffalo Wool. I'm not sure about Synthroid. I think no. And the camel hair is kind of good for the heat. Actually, maybe Devil Strand is too. No, good at insulating. Protects exceptionally well against flame. Which could be good for our mechanoid fights. But I think we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. I, I think that will be a good first option. And this will be our second option. Now, that won't change anything now because we already have nine parkas sitting in, in our storage room, but... Going forward, I want them to use the better materials first, and then we'll, we'll use, you know, the, the stuff we make to sell, you know, use anything. Alright, that marble clearly was hauled in and chopped up, and now we're getting some tile down. That's good to see. Right, some of these low-level crafting jobs that usually get neglected are happening. It's great. Uh, I should have checked. I didn't see where Angie took that meal to go eat. We, we originally built this close to the workshop with the idea that they would leave the workshop and go eat over here, but maybe that's just still not quite close enough for what they're looking to do. Great to see the steel coming in. We need that. And we're up to 702. And we still have a decent amount here. That's great to see. Uh, oh, the mechanoids we deconstructed must have provided quite a few. Uh, a tinny broke again. Minor pain. Does a tinny kind of have like a weak, ascetic and kind? I mean, how are you breaking now when it seems like when you are when you were mourning your sister, you were kind of holding it together? And you were nuzzled. Dull bedroom, very impressive dining room. Still have the rec room, right? And this is our dining room now? Oh, this is a rec room now. No idea where the very impressive dining room came from. This is not a gather spot. Did I do that for these two? Yeah, no gathering on these. I don't, want to, I don't really want to throw a party out here. Although that might be nice, actually. Assuming they could bring some supplies out, like the beer and stuff. But a couple tables right by the river. Uh-oh, poison ship. Right outside our walls. This is interesting. I think we... 
I think we change our base layout slightly for this. I think we just go crazy with the turrets here. And and then pop them and get inside. Maybe let the turrets do all the work. Thing is, with our steel situation, while recovering, we might not have the resources to build them. Build them back up when they get destroyed. Um, let's see. What would the ideal range here be? Something like this. Let's say we had a... Uh, um... Let's see, build copy, say we had a... Uh, um, this is just to map it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got these two we definitely move, because those barely get used. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe these two, since we're not drilling here right now. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Yeah, we could actually move some turrets out there without... Um, without sacrificing too much because they don't often get used. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get that going. Um, we will reinstall you. Let's see, what do we like? We like here? Don't quite get everything in range there. Um, good thing I deleted those plans and now I can't really see where it lined up. Um, reinstall you here. Uh, we'll grab one of you guys. Reinstall here. Grab both of you. Uh, reinstall there. Reinstall there. Is this line up okay? Yeah, it's going to line up just fine, I guess. We'll grab one of you. Reinstall. Let's see, right there, right? Yeah. I'm still thinking we're in toxic fallout mode, but <laughs> it's like certain places seem unsafe to go still, but that's not the case. Hmm. Is it time to build a few more anyway? Yeah, let's just build one more copy. Now, yeah, we, we're probably going to need them when it comes time to try and get out of here anyway. What stone do we have enough stored of? Um, not really any. I guess we use, we'll use sandstone, although I think sandstone might be the weakest. Do that. Um, oh, they will chop down a tree to get to that. Great. Um... I didn't, even, I didn't even see that amount. Is that going to be 46? 65. Um, what will 46 get us to? There? Okay. So, go right there. And then with the rest of our stone, let's see, we'll go slate 38. Not a copy, but... Um, there's 20, 25, 30, 35. And then limestone, we've got 25 left. 5, 10, 15. Okay, that's decent. Um, normally I would put steel sandbags here. But, you know, I think I am anyway. It's very little steel. Yeah, we can afford it. So let's get the steel sandbags down. 5 per. I could just see... You know, let's do it all the way across. 65 steel? Yeah, we, we, we'll use it. Um, and then we'll get a little bit more steel for the power lines here. Which will run straight back there. Okay, now, do we want to get our guys out here somewhere? I think the answer is probably yes. You know, this might be a good time to maybe... I wonder if, what if we had like a couple snipers just up here? Maybe even uh, Big Red, where are you? Yeah, you're already out here. Sorry, let me borrow you for a second and come up here. I just want to see what kind of range we're dealing with. So, like, it, it can't be this far. Pretty close though. 
say you were up here. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Okay, thanks Big Red. So maybe I'll use this tree as a guideline. Maybe we'll get a few people with sniper rifles. And then they'll be ready to run if they need to. Looks like we found another mining spot. Uh, no threat, no danger known there either. So both of these are threats unknown. Last time we had a threat unknown, um, it was nothing. But certainly wouldn't count on that <laughs> every time. Uh, okay. Got 10 days on the other one. It doesn't really matter which one we go to at this point. Both are going to have more uranium than we can carry anyway, so... We've got two options, and given that, I wonder if I want to maybe retune this. Eh, we're still so low on uranium, though. Man, they went down... Oh, Freckles exited the map healthy. Okay, so that lady that fell down the transport pod was nursed back to health and walked out, and that gave us a bump to 15. So they're only 10 away from an ally, and that lasts quite a ways. This can drop down to zero before they're no longer an ally. And then they just go back to neutral, but I certainly want to keep them an ally if we can. So next time we see a trader of these guys, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to, you know, give them enough gifts to get them up to 10. Uh, Lines and Johnny are social fighting. Two of our old school guys just don't hurt each other too bad. Dead in 12 hours from that. Damn. I'll unforbid, but I'll probably forget to give you your weapon back. How about how about you get hit, Johnny? Uh, nobody in danger. You got bit, you got punched, and you got headbutted. Where the hell is Lines? Why are you here? Maybe it was that serious where you just had to get him into bed. No permanent damage, though, it looks like. Uh, poison goes through walls. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's not too surprising. I would have guessed it didn't, but now that I'm thinking about it. Um, hopefully our power line just isn't done here. Yeah, okay. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes uh, these blueprints get erased, like when other walls go up or something. I uh, got some cargo pods we'll take a look at right in our base. Didn't damage anything, I don't think. So these guns are almost ready to go. I still am not sure if we want to go the... You know what? I wonder if we go EMP grenade and have a guy right here with cover. Yes. This is dangerous, but let's go for it. Um, maybe just right here. And then maybe a couple up here. I mean, there's a chance we'll lose them, though. I, eh, yeah, but we're going to need the extra firepower. We are going to need it. We're going to do this move, actually. Um... I don't do this very often, but we're going to do one of these where it's like... Oh, we don't have very many blocks to do this, but that's okay. Um, and then maybe we'll do one and one on the outside. And then we're going to go... Was that limestone? We're going to go one in between. So you can stand behind the wall and get a better cover bonus than the sandbags, and then you can still pop out around them to shoot and get a little bit more cover from the sandbags as you're exposed, something like that. Um, the reason I don't like it, I've explained before, is like it just kind of it blocks certain lines of sight, so I'm just willing to take the risk and, and go all sandbag. Anyway, uh, food bench for Pacheco. So I guess we'll get our four best shooters out here sniping. We'll get someone with EMP grenades over here, and then we'll hope the turrets can handle the rest. I mean, the, the plan for these guys is to eventually run, is the thing. And maybe that's a terrible plan. Alcatraz is pregnant. Yeah, I mean, it sucks to lose all these, especially the Devil Strand, which takes a while, but these look like they were harvested recently, which is good. Uh, I should do a harvest, actually. Let's harvest everything we can in here. Al, what are you doing in here? You should not be in here. Uh, zone. Did I not put you back in the thrombo zone? Oh, right. I put you in hall zone, which I don't want. You're a thrombo zone. Okay. So Al should get out. Yeah, okay, good. Um, so this is almost done. Man, yeah, I don't like this plan. 
because I don't think these turrets are going to be enough to get it done. But maybe they are with the EMP. It's all going to come down to the EMP. And do we have two of them, actually? Maybe, maybe this would be a good time to have two. But we don't. I might bring one guy out with a doomsday and have him hold fire. And then just... Do, use it if necessary. Maybe a triple rocket, actually. But we gotta get to... We gotta get moving. Okay, so the power's up. That's good. I'm gonna get everyone in the compound because I'm not gonna draft everyone for this fight initially. Um, I don't want people that are too slow. You're 3.5. That's kind of below average, I think. I feel like 4 is about average. Arison, you dropped your weapon a while ago and you're using a shield belt, of course. You're... You're an 11 shot. That's good enough to be a sniper. Oh, damn. We don't have that many sniper rifles. You know, this plan isn't going to quite work. Well, we've got two sitting here. Hopefully one isn't big reds that he dropped. Okay, good. Um, and I guess Kimmy's range. We're going to get Kimmy out there, too. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to worry about speed. I would love to kind of get our... F Four fastest best shots, like whatever combination that is, but I don't want to take that much time. Uh, so we're going to get NG probably. You do move pretty well. Let's get you a good one. Uh, and I'll do the two in front, hopefully. Yeah, just so it's easier to remember. Another 15. Yeah, you take a good one. You two. Um, Arison. You're an 11. I, I don't know if that affects grenades, but go ahead and take these EMPs. And once you come in here, we'll drop that uh, shield belt. Yeah, go ahead and drop that. We'll get those first and then drop it. So I don't interrupt what you're doing. Okay, there's the drop. Um, so Engie and, Engie and Mike are... What's Mike doing? Oh, he, yeah, he's going to get his sniper rifle. Lines, are you healthy now, by the way? Oh, God. I, I hate how they go for the shield belt right away. Like, I, th I think it's smart that they pick it up when they can, i.e. when they don't have a ranged weapon, but not when they just drop their, their previous ranged weapon. It's a little micromanagey. Um, I know I can set from here on the Assign tab to not use that. Um, oh, I'm forcing you to use that? Clear that. Go ahead, and go ahead and get your own. And I'm guessing you'll leave that parka on, so I'll go ahead and clear that too. Yeah, I mean, I know I could use this, but it's like, I, I do want the melee guys to automatically grab a shield belt. So they would have to be on their own separate, you know, plan, which I don't really want to do. Okay, I think we are ready, except we don't have our Doomsday shot yet, which is going to be Philly, since you're a heavy gunner, I guess. You got a 12? Yeah, come grab a Doomsday. Actually, no, make it a triple. Because this is kind of a tight, tight spot here. And it is... Early afternoon, so I think we're okay to do it. Um, looks like you got equipped. Let's get you up here. Let's get Arison up here. And let's get our snipers out here. Oh, this didn't get finished? Damn it. Um, we ran out of blocks. Doesn't matter anyway, so cancel. Cancel. Um, and we'll have enough cover anyway. It looks pretty ragged and probably won't work, but... Um, there. Kimmy, I'm concerned about her range actually, so we'll check her when she gets there. NG, jump up here, and then Mike. Maybe, yeah, right there is fine, I guess. These are all on. Oh, you know what? I wanted to make a kind of a door to get out here, but no, we don't need that. They can hopefully run and beat them that way. If we need to. Hoping Arison can just kind of lock them in. Shit. This isn't close enough. I mean, it's close, but these grenades, I... You're not going to be able to do much to the guys up here, and I, maybe that'll have to be fine. Oh yeah, hold fire. Don't want to forget that. Everyone else is in the compound. Kimmy, what's your range? Okay, well you can hit the guys on the top. The trees are terrible cover, so I don't want to use those. You know, I could pop you over here. This might not be awful, and then run away if they start firing on you. No, that kind of goes against the whole plan. Yeah, anyway. Um, attack. Oof. This looks, this looks like it's going to outmatch our turrets. Um, five centipedes. Three scythers. Arison is already about to launch a grenade. That, that should help a lot. 
Um, you guys draft redraft because I don't want you training on the ship itself. Shoot whatever. And Philly, you know what? Let's just go ahead and shoot that damn thing. This Scyther is what I'm worried about. Hopefully Arison can lock her. If not, it could damage these two pretty badly. It'll depend on what target it chooses. But yeah, Philly, go ahead and launch that. Luckily the Scyther's are going that way. We've stunned a few. Um, these guys are going to have a field day with our turrets. Philly, you're pretty much useless now, so go ahead and uh, go get your minigun back so you're ready for the next fight. I don't think we're going to send anyone else out. But I am... I mean, I certainly don't want to leave these guys out here to die or, or be left on an island. Arison is fine continuing to try and uh, stunlock these guys with the grenades. It does have diminishing returns, but... I mean, a stun is a stun. These guys aren't firing. These guys are just destroying turrets left and right. Three are already down. One's, another one's on fire. And I think... This plan is not working. These turrets just weren't enough. Or these scythers just... I mean, we haven't even taken anyone down yet. Okay. So what does that mean? That means that we are going to run this way. I'm a little bit worried about Ng's speed. She just has a bruise. Okay, so she should be okay. Um... If we split up, we should be able to handle the melee guys and hopefully get far enough away from the centipedes before they start doing some real damage. Arison, I mean, sooner or later, you're going to miss or they're going to come out of it, so it's, I think it's time to get you back inside. And let's go get your shotgun back. Damn it, down to 36%? Uh, let's make another one. I kind of like that. Although, eh. Steel is such a premium right now. Go ahead and grab an ass a good assault rifle for now. No, go, go normal. Because some guys um, put theirs down for this fight. And they are more entitled to it than you, I think. Okay. Yeah, grab that. Uh, you had a bad feeling about this plan, and I don't like where it's going so far. But let's run for it. Let's see how far these guys can get. Um... They at least have some natural cover here, plus our own cover. Man, these guys are just destroying these turrets. Um, now I want some of these guys to peel off. And we'll spread out, and whoever they go for, the other guys will stop and try and provide some cover fire. The problem is it's nothing but sniper rifles, so... It's not the greatest cover fire yet. So these guys, I think, are... Okay, you guys stop and start firing. But the centipedes are coming right around the corner. And our animals are outside. Yeah. Everybody go to graze mode. Um, hell, even the thrombo. We don't really have much. The grazers can't go on our plants either, so that'll be fine. Uh, keep her running. I need to get you guys in. What, what path are you going to take to get in there? Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, now you guys are under some threat here. Let's have you run, but let's kind of you kind of take different paths. I'm, I'm starting to get worried about Big Red's speed here. Did this get damaged at all? It's kind of oh yeah, good. It's injured, so it's moving a bit slower than it normally would. Normally, it'd be much faster than our guys. But the problem is this one's going to head us off. It looks like. So I kind of jumped in too soon. Um, what am I going to do with these guys? I don't see how they can make it in. NG and Kimmy could pop out over here for some fire, but we've got all these guys making their way in. Um, these guys are just going to have to run their fastest, and hopefully hopefully they make it. Uh, meanwhile, everyone else, it's time to spring into action. Uh, social fighters should be okay. I'm, I'm assuming you guys got your guns already. If not, we'll have a small problem there. Um, a tinny and Philly, good. You got your gun. You jump up here. A tinny. Oh yeah, that's right. You also have a minigun. Forgot you weren't melee anymore. And we might need our meleeers on this one, so definitely get in there. Uh, Big Red is taking some hits. Mike, maybe you can provide a little cover fire. At least maybe slow down one of these and hopefully not shoot Big Red. Big Red's still not in immediate danger, though. Okay, great. That shot landed. Uh, I think it did enough damage to slow him down. Where do we want to put you guys? Start you back over here. I'm not sure if you're in range there or not. And these guys look like they'll get inside safely. 
which will be huge. Okay, a lot of a lot of plants dying messages. Yeah, poison's creeping in. That's fine. Um, these guys aren't sure what to do. Luckily, we didn't leave this door open or anything. Yeah, just a waste of steel mostly. But we're so far we're okay. And these guys, ooh, these guys need to get in position fast. Matthew, up here. Pacheco, it's gonna be close for you. Come in the back door, actually. Start over here and then go around. Lines, are you bad? Are you badly hurt? No. Okay. These guys are gonna get shot on their way into position, unfortunately. Um, who else is here? Huber. Oh, you got a, you've got a charge rifle too. That's right. We've got three now. Uh, maybe there will give you some range. Hopefully these guys are safe here. And it looks like they are for the moment. Yeah, we're just playing with fire by having our guys standing here. You know what, let's pop you guys right here. That way the animals have a little bit more cover, hopefully. War Merchant, are you just showing up? A caravan from where, huh? You are going to draw some fire here. Now, Purple Canyon Kinship. Um... Not one of our best friends whatsoever. I don't know. They might turn hostile if this doesn't work out, right? Uh, I don't know what the threshold is. If, fall, if it falls below zero, they'll become hostile. Well, we're at negative 41, so that's not quite right. Um, but they are probably going to draw some attention here. And that's good for us on one hand, but... Um, well, pretty much good for us on all hands, because we don't care about their relationship, really. Yeah, our animals are just kind of in no man's land here. Hmm. This gun is just not working. Um, from that spot, or mixed with this spot. We already know this is a dangerous spot, right? Or was that down on the bottom? I don't know. I mean, I don't really want to, like, assign and reassign animals for combat, depending on the fight. Oh, Pacheco, you gave a thumbs down to someone. Go ahead and stand in this doorway. You do get some cover just by standing in a doorway, even if it's facing straight out with nothing in front of you. So it's not a bad spot to, to stand for some fights. Boyle, dead. I knew it. I, I mean, I we could have avoided it, but... I don't know. The whole thing was probably mis, uh, poorly thought out in the first place. But you know what? It is release animal time. This feels kind of desperate. I mean, that's what they're here for. And you know what? We're releasing all of these melee guys too. Oh, not that. Um, melee attack? Yeah. It's going to get ugly. This damn gun. Okay, stop firing. I think it's hit Al three times. Auto cannon. Oh, just once? Could have sworn it at least twice. Huh? Anyway. Um. Yeah, that, oh, you guys can't get out the door? PB and J's down. Damn it. Shot to death by our own guy, I'm sure. Auto cannon, sniper rifle, auto cannon twice. Serrano! I mean, <laughs> this is kind of the risk. He's only in compound, so he's going to go out and do do what he can. I'll tell you what, lines, grab Serrano and get the hell out of there, because you guys, I don't like where you guys are standing. Oh shit, infestation. Hopefully it's, our traps will work, because we're not really in a position to fight off a horde of uh, insects coming at us right now. God, guys, don't... You guys, these get the, the shots these guys try and pull off. I mean, I guess they should be shooting in those situations because, you know, they're drafted and they've got a shot. But, uh, I mean, shooting through these doorways, just trying to thread the needle. Okay, um... Let's undraft everyone. Stay in the compound for now. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. Oh, you're kidding me. So these lines are enough to do it. We've got no defense for this. So we will, if we get through this, we will carpet this up and mine it just like over here. And that will mitigate it for next time. 
Um, and that's what we will do next time. We'll see what pops out. We'll see how we recover. Um, oh, we've got some injuries to deal with. Al is down. Ten hours for Al. Yeah, we're going to have to divert. We've got one turret moved. Oof. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to uh, try and keep it together for this infestation. And they're, they're pretty close to the southeastern corner here, so we don't have a lot of time to get on it. And we're going to have to figure out who's healthy, who can jump in the fight, who can help out, who needs a doctor, who needs rescuing, all that stuff. And we'll do that next time. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys then.